Hello and good evening. You're watching TMB News. I'm Anju Sukha. Let's have a look at the top stories of the day. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee observed Anti-Terrorism Day on the 33rd death anniversary of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi at Congress Bhavan on Tuesday. Former Chief Minister O. Ibobi, MPCC President K. Megachandra and CWC AICC member Gai Khangam led party workers in paying floral tributes to the portrait of late Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi. The gathering took the pledge to oppose all forms of terrorism and violence as well as affirm peace, social harmony and understanding among all fellow human beings. A special team of Pambay-led UNLF busted a drug ring on Monday following a drive based on specific information during which a large volume of contraband items were also recovered. Speaking to media persons at Langol Ningthaulekai Community Hall on Tuesday, media coordinator of the organization Sarai Rongba identified the owner of the drugs as the proprietor of Kangla Drugs and Surgical Nongthongbam James Jit, son of N Megajit of Naranthong. The consignment was found stored at a warehouse at Sangaipro near St. Joseph Higher Secondary School, which is owned by N. G. Hitler of Sagolban Lukram Lirak. Okram Budhi Singh, the proprietor of Athokpam Indian Service, informs customers belonging to below poverty line families seeking an LPG connection under the Ujwala scheme to approach distributors and gas agencies in their vicinity and enroll there instead of attempting to get a connection from far off places from their homes as several cases of middlemen fleecing money from gullible customers with the premise of getting them a connection which is provided free of cost by the union government through an understanding with Indian Oil Corporation Limited has been reported. Professor C. H. Priyo Ranjan Singh, the president of Manipur Pony Society, calls for creating more polo grounds and pony reserves or preserves in all the districts as a measure for preserving the Manipuri pony as the indigenous horse breed is gradually turning into an endangered species which has been compounded since the outbreak of the COVID pandemic and the prevailing law and order situation preventing the conduct of any games involving horses and the international polo tournament. He was speaking as the chief guest during a one-day consultative meeting on the status of sustainable preservation of Manipuri pony. Combined team of Manipur police and central forces have recovered cash of weapons during search operations and area domination conducted in the fringe and vulnerable areas of Sabungkok, Kunau Twichin Ridge, Imphal East District on Monday. The recovered items have been handed over to the concerned police station for further necessary proceedings, police report said. Security forces have assured movement of 100 and 208 vehicles with essential items along National Highway 37 and National Highway 2 respectively. Strict security measures are also taken up in all vulnerable locations and security convoys provided in sensitive stretches in order to ensure free and safe movement of the vehicles. A total of 124 checkpoints were installed in different districts of Manipur, both in the hill and valley. Police also detained 79 persons in connection with violation in different districts of the state. Indian junior men's hockey team kicked off their tour of Europe with a win over Belgium. India took the lead early in the game with vice captain Shradhanan Tiwari firing in a penalty stroke. The second quarter saw the vice captain complete his brace to double the team's lead with yet another penalty stroke. Belgium converted a penalty corner early in the third quarter to reduce the goal deficit to one. With just a few minutes left in the game, the Belgians converted yet another penalty corner to equalize. As no more goals were scored in the regulation time, the fourth quarter ended with the scoreline reading 2-2, taking the game into a shootout. In IPL cricket, Sunrisers Hyderabad will face Kolkata Knight Riders in Qualifier 1 at Narendra Modi Stadium, Ahmedabad today. The match will begin this evening. The second qualifier will be played between Rajasthan Royals and Royal Challengers Bengaluru at the same venue tomorrow. The final match will be played on Sunday. 
India Meteorological Department IMD forecast widespread rain and thunderstorm in the next couple of days over Manipur. IMD said scattered to fairly widespread to widespread light to moderate rainfall with thunderstorms, lightning and gusty winds 30 to 40 km per hour over Manipur for the next five days. Light to moderate rainfall at many places with heavy rainfall at isolated places is likely over South Manipur on 25 May, IMD added.